Thank you guys for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. You say, what in the world are you doing here? <laughs> I'm in a tree stand. I'm actually on the farm in a stand and I'm two weeks before opening day. And I am gonna show you guys how I practice, okay? What really counts? Now, all the yard shooting in the world doesn't compare to a real situation. Shooting out of a tree stand with your hunting bow, hunting arrows, hunting weight, everything like it's gonna be, okay? Now, the point of this video today, guys, there's two things. Now, number one, by request, I've had several people this week ask me to do a video on the release, okay? And guys, the release is everything. It is absolutely everything in your shot. If you don't get a good, clean release, you're just not gonna shoot consistent. You, 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 you're not. You have to get a very solid anchor and a consistent release, whatever that is, whatever really works for you. Now, I have come to realize, guys, and I've been asked this several times, you know, do you hook the string? Do you really hook it? Yes, for the most part, yes. Now, I, I ride on the, the lines of my fingers, of course, but yes, I take a good hook. Uh, not an extremely deep hook, but a good, good tight hook. The reason that I do that is it gives me control. It gives me control of the string, control of the shot, control of my bow. It helps me to really get into my full draw and not tend to release, you know, prematurely. And it helps me to also get into my anchor where I really need to be, okay? Now, guys, in this simulation that I'm doing here, I just got set up. I have not shot a single arrow. I just climbed up in this ladder stand. I brought Doreen out here, my uh, doe target, because I expect to kill some does out of this stand. Uh, I've got a food plot right out here in the, in the field, and I've got a logging road planted right here and bedding in this big hollow behind me. So, yeah, in the evenings, they're going to be coming through here, and I expect to try to bust one right here where this is at. So I thought, all right, what better practice can I possibly get uh, at a time of day and before season to come in here and actually simulate and and try to make the shot that I plan on shooting at the worst case. Now, I'm not talking about one that comes in at, you know, five or ten yards. That's what I hope they do. But let's just say, say if they walk this logging road right here, let's just say they walk that. If they do, and they probably will, they may even be on the far side of it. So I set her, I set Doreen, my favorite little doe target, I set her all the way at the edge, like she's walking back in the morning, coming off the field, and they do that a lot, okay? So I'm simulating that doe being on the, all the way on the other side of that road, which from, from my shot, from where I'm at right now, guys, is 22 yards, okay? 22 yards is still a very doable shot, it is, okay? I have decided 25 is where I'm gonna try to max my shots at, because I'm shooting, uh, one set of arrows that I'm running is 600 grains, one is 620, one 650. Okay, so I'm going to try to limit to 25 yards and, and hit these things hard. That's what I'm trying to do with, with the new Omega uh, broadheads. So I'm fixing to shoot at this thing and show you guys how I practice a real life, real life shot in the woods where it's really going to happen, guys. And look, if I pull a bad shot and I miss because it's cold shot, it tells me, okay, I've, I've, I've got to, I've got to do something different. Okay. Because you can shoot in the yard over and over and over and over. But if you don't get in a tree stand, if you plan on hunting out of a tree now, if you're hunting out of a ground blind, that's different. But if you're going to climb a tree and if you're going to shoot one of these stick bows at a deer out of a tree, you need to practice it. No matter what you got to do, even if you have to do it in your yard, if you have to go to Walmart and buy a basic 15-foot ladder stand and put it up somewhere, if you have to put it on your house, if you have to shoot off the roof of your house, whatever you got to do to get elevated, because it is different, guys. It's different. Let's shoot. Let's just see real deal here. Whew. Real deal. What it's going to be. All right. Let's take a shot. Real, real situation, guys. Just like a real deer walking 22, 23 yards, whatever it is, it's just inside 25 yards. 
could I put a killing shot on this deer? Or do I need more practice out of a tree? Okay. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Dead on. That is as good as it gets. And all I did was I looked up that leg line. I looked right up that leg line and picked me a spot and I shot. Okay. All right. So that, that tells me that, yes, absolutely. Now, of course, they're going to duck. Of course, they're going to move. Now, I hit that deer in the lower third. I don't know if you can see the, the knot glowing right there. That is in the most perfect spot that it could be. I mean, that is like top of the heart, bottom of the lungs, right up the back leg line. Okay. So even if that deer had have ducked some, still would have been a good shot. It really would at that distance. So that that just tells me, okay, yes. And it is different. It is different, different, guys. I'll shoot another one. Now these don't have lighted knocks, so you probably won't be able to see them as well. But hopefully you will. Touching the other arrow. Booyah! Right in the dead gum boiler. That's it. All right, guys, so that, that tells me what I need to know. All right, and I'm not gonna spend any more time in here doing this today. It's done, I'm not bothering any deer right now, but you definitely don't wanna come try to do this close to movement times. But I can assure you, I can assure you guys, that's as real as it gets. I promise you, take whatever your maximum range is that you're gonna try to shoot, and try to simulate that out of a tree stand. It is so different, guys. It's so incredibly different. Uh, I can't express to you how different the shot feels. I mean, versus being on the ground, it's just night and day difference in, in everything in your sight picture. It truly is. Um, and what most people tend to do in a tree stand is they tend to short draw the bow. Um, an anticipation of the shot you can't do that and that's why i take a good deep hook because i line up on that deer i line up i pick my spot and i just all i think about is to come in and get get into my anchor and be, be looking at that spot and just bam just execute that's it so god i'm excited i'm so excited so ready to hunt i, I am so anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is a really cool little outing for me. Uh, something I've been wanting to do before we get actually into the season. I wanted to come and get in a stand, bring Doreen, and, and, and see if I could make the maximum shot. I mean, right at 25 yards. And just see, okay, can, can I hit where I really need to hit on this thing? You know, can I do it effectively? And yes, yes, it, it, it's good. It's good. So thank you for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. I love you guys so much. Get out there and do the practice that counts, guys. Practice what matters, okay? Don't just stay in the norm. Get out of the box. Do something creative. Get on the roof of your house. Do whatever you got to do. I don't care if you don't have a 3D uh, target animal. That's fine. Get you some little something to shoot at, something you can focus on, and get elevated draw that bow get you a pocket full of arrows get elevated and start shooting and make sure that you can perform your shot process the same out of a tree stand as you do it on the ground guys that's what matters that is the most important thank you guys as always god bless you